morning. Oh, I made it. Damn. Quite literally, a damn. <gasps> you gone. Done. I'm shattered. Glider fire. Done. Glider fax done. Adam and Eve, top of your fan. God knows how I managed to scale down that. The light has started to dim now. Night. Good morning. slept all right it's now 6 52 looked on the map and to finish off this challenge i have a disgusting six seven hundred meter ascent and then it's all practically flat so i'm gonna finish it to do that i cannot be fighting around and just taking my time so i'm not even gonna have breakfast yet i want to make my way down to ogwen cottage one because they have toilets there two because they might sell flapjacks let's start packing up now because i got here when it was so dark i didn't have a chance to show you where i camped When I was here last, I camped out just over there. The reason I knew that this was a suitable campsite in the dark was because I've been here before. There was a, a group camping up here, so I knew that this was definitely okay to camp. <sighs> Let's pack this up now. Sometimes videoing is annoying. And I'm off, day three, third and final day. We get down to Ogwen Cottage, um, see if their, their cafe's open, and get a coffee from there, and maybe a bite to eat. And then I've got to head back to do the second worst climb of the trip, depending on what you think is a bad climb. I've got to climb that. Yesterday was a no, eight till 10 day, 32 odd thousand steps, a whole lot of scrambling. And I just don't want to do that today. I want today to just be a, a full on march. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna march it out. Oh. Now, there is a much quicker way to start in that one, and that is by just going along that path there and then starting to climb. But I don't want to do that. Ogwen Cottage, it's only there. They've got a sink, so I can have a little bit of a wash. So the cafe might be open, and which is good because I'm completely running out on snacks. Today, I really need to trot on because I need to get home early enough to be able to sort stuff out to go to a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> Oops. Along this bridge here, I took one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken and that was like, Two years ago, two and a half years ago. Oh, I don't know. Lockdown has ruined timescales. I'd love to recreate it. 
I just don't, I really don't have time. I've, I haven't managed to take pictures of pretty much anything. Just haven't had time. It's just a shame, but never mind. I made it to the cottage, but the cafe's closed. All I'm gonna do is have a little wash up in the bathroom and fill up all my water bottles and then head on down past this reservoir. The cafe opens at nine o'clock, so that's in 10 minutes. Might as well stick around, get a coffee. I didn't get any snacks, but I got a cappuccino, which I was just so excited for and was even more exciting is the fact that i've got a welsh lamb pasty i was going to enjoy it in peace but i want to share this first mm. lamb and mint pasty oh god that's incredible all right i'm going to continue walking along this road to the base of the next mountain Bloody luxurious. I'm gonna miss this in about two hours. That's a hell of a mountain to climb. As soon as I get up to that first peak, it's just a long way. If the weather clears up, it'll be absolutely stunning. But at the moment, the clouds are still in that sort of low-lying area of about 800 meters. I've never done this range before. Apologies for my Welsh again, the Carnival range. It's running on autopilot at the moment. Let's hope it keeps up. I'm gonna stop, take this jacket off after about five minutes of walking because it will get very, very warm. It's a very good jacket. There's no real footpath that I can see. I just gotta use my wits. Yes, I'd hope that there was a very clear and obvious footpath like there is a Snowdon, but it's not a well travelled mountain at all, so I do what I can. I do what I can. Quick two minute stop, take my coat off, I started to sweat quite a bit. I'm probably one fifth of the way up this mountain. <laughs> if that, you can see where I started, just there. This mountain here is Trafan. That's the one I was up yesterday and scrambled down in the dark. Feeling all right at the moment, feeling all right. As soon as I get to the first sort of little ridge area here, um, I might stop for a little bit of a water break. Everything takes time. If there's one thing this trip has taught me is that if you just keep going one step at a time, it doesn't matter what we're with, mountain climbing, freaking life problems, just take one step at a time and you'll be able to achieve something great. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I've been climbing for about 40 minutes, roughly, and this climb is already so much nicer than Ville de Far. That was just relentless and soul sucking. Here I've got change of scenery, change of gradients. It's just so much nicer. Keeps your mind way more occupied then. Oh my God, how long left do I have to go? Couple of people coming back down Penna Old Wind off the top of my head. They said that the visibility up there is about 20 meters, which sucks because navigating 
with only that amount of visibility is really difficult. This bit, he said, is probably the second hardest climb uh, in terms of just sheer slog, which is good because I'm feeling pretty, pretty good at the moment. The next bit is shorter but steeper, which again, it's fine. And then from the last mountain, it's about a two hour descent, apparently. I'm actually gonna do it. I don't think I've ever come as close to quitting something as I was yesterday. I was sapped, I was drained. It was just absolutely miserable. Some people do this in 24 hours. I'm not fit enough to do this in 24 hours. I'm barely fit enough to do it in three hours. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. That's where I'm going. Quick five, 10 minute break. I've been walking for an hour and a half, so it's a good time for a little, little pit stop. Might have some fruit in that. Let my ankle rest up, still throbbing. And then the last slog. Put this on because um, it's gonna get windy and it does keep spitting occasionally. That was a nice 10 minute pit stop, just 200 meters of a little bit of a scramble up to uh, Penna Olwyn and then another 100 meters or so up to Carnef Daffin. Again, I'm really sorry about my Welsh. Proper chuffed at the moment. I. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy right now. I've had so many lows on this trip and today I feel like I can really start to enjoy it. Let's get on with it. Now I'm hoping that this is going to be the hardest part. It's not hard. Not compared to the stuff I did yesterday anyway. But I know you guys like seeing me put myself in danger so I thought I'd actually try and film a little bit of this scramble. Yeah, this was a slog. I, I can't really see the peak because of how poor the visibility is, but I've done the steepest part. Penna, whole win, done. About it's fairly windy. And they keep spitting. But I really don't care anymore. I've lost the ability to feel. I'm just exhausted. On through the cloud now. Okay, Carnif Dafif, done. Still no views, it's starting to rain a little bit. Um, I've stopped for a hot chocolate because I feel like I deserve it. <laughs> Buzzing. Vigorous stir. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm feeling on top of the world. Literally a polar opposite of when I climbed down from the garden. Speckle a bit more rain. So I'm, I'm just gonna put the rain cover over the, um, the bag. More to protect the camera, which is hanging off the outside of it. I'm gonna have a slack. Adventure awaits. Cheesy, but I love it. The weather has taken a bit of a turn. It is incredibly windy now. I'm going downhill at the moment, so hopefully this top bit of wind will start to die off. If it doesn't, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to have to think about layering up a bit more. Because 
soon I'm going to start shivering. And as soon as you start shivering, it becomes a lot harder to warm up again. This, this wind is ridiculous now! It got really, really rather bitter, especially with this wind. So I just put a snood on and me hat. Let's just crack on with it. Fight the elements, get through. Okay, just got to the top of Irelin, something like that. Um, it's quite a long way down to go back up, to come back down to go back up. I'm feeling pretty drained and bored of this view. <laughs> I am bored of this view. I'm bored of clouds now. Weather's getting worse again. In fact, I nearly missed this one. Visibility is at about 10 metres. Cardiff Llewellyn, done. Right, now I've got to try and find my way out of this cloud, and it is such a thick cloud. It's getting to the point where it's just dangerous. time to stop and inspect it because I'm really marching. Get the next two peaks done and dusted. All the rocks are extremely wet and slippy so it's just slowing me down big time. Carnif Gwenlian I think. <laughs> done. This bad weather is starting to play tricks on my mind. Like it's so difficult not knowing where you're going and I've never been here before I've just got to trust that I've got enough enough left in the tank to be able to finish this because the next one is oh god another couple of K on and then then it's the descent well, as soon as I start descending I'll be so happy I've got one left one come on Peaks Watch 3000 completed. I'm going to sit down, uh, recharge my phone a little bit, and have a little snack. My feet are absolutely thumping. I did that last uh, since my last break. I've been walking for about three and a half, four hours over difficult terrain in the most relentless horrible weather I've ever had to walk through there's no giving in it it just appears to get worse so I'm gonna find a little bit of shelter sit down and recharge my phone I've got a long way to go and I honestly I can't explain how I'm feeling right now I can't believe I am um, I can't believe I kept going to be honest uh, I just gotta make my way back down. So I'm gonna save any sort of emotional outburst till then. <laughs> because it's a long way to go. All right, the wind isn't quite as bad, but the visibility is still just as bad. This peak here is called Drum. That uh, is at 720 meters. I'm trying to get off of these damn mountains now. Just get me off them. Oh. Finally, a view. It's slightly distracting me from my feet. My feet are swollen. I can feel them pressing against my boots. I'm in a bad way. 
I've still got probably 45 minutes well, at this pace, an hour and a half of walking left to do. There's no point moaning about it, is there? That distance isn't getting any smaller, no matter how much I whinge, whinge about. So, better off to just keep swimming. A few kilometers. I'm still half an hour away from the town. Still quite a long way down to go. And it's got warm again, so I can strip all of that waterproof in and gloves and stuff. He's a shot. Just taking off the stuff, I, I stopped walking, put my bag down. And I tried bending my legs and it was pure agony. But I'm nearly there, nearly there. It is so much further to this town than I thought it was going to be. I'm at quarter past six. I'm, try I'm aiming to get there for seven, but I cannot walk very fast at all. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't done a joke of the walk at all, or a joke of the day for any of the days. The reason for that is this whole walk has been a joke. <laughs> see the town and I can see the sea and my battery is on about 10% so I'm just gonna wrap the walk up now what an adventure unbelievable Welsh 3000 challenge the hardest thing I've ever had to do physically mentally just utterly brilliant and exhausting day one I did 26,000 steps I had to battle with a lot of fear on Cripcon. Day two, I did 32,000 steps and I had to battle my own demons. I was struggling so much. That was a turning point. I nearly quit then. Day three, I just had to battle with losses and battle the environment. Battle the harsh weather. Um, I've done 40,000 steps today, which is probably why my feet are freaking pounding. Um, but there's the town. I've been keeping regular updates on my Instagram and loads and loads of people have like sent me encouragement or abuse and either way, thank you so much. It, it, you have no idea what impact you had. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post another video about the kit, like do a proper long wrap up video then when I'm not close to tears from pain and emotion. So until that video and until the next one, stay safe. day challenge a bit optimistic me doing walking past shots <laughs> spend all that time trying to be artsy and then put enough water in it mountains look bloody big most demoralizing and difficult thing about the challenge so far is I can see my car just over there <laughs>